Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Tsukafata, and in my last video, I shared some projects that I worked on that helped me land my first job as a software developer. And in that video, I mentioned a travel booking app that I worked on, and you guys wanted to see it. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to that app that I built in 2020. This is going to be like a total like blind reaction. I haven't seen or worked on the app since then. And I'm going to put out a disclaimer. I was young. This was four years ago. I was in my final year. So I was like fighting for my life on that side. And then on the other side, I was busy building this app. So you know what? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see it together. The only thing that I did do, I just checked if I can actually still log into the app. And that still works. So that's the only thing I did. Uh, anything other than that we're gonna be seeing it together so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and you're welcome to comment your thoughts guys but please be nice i was young <laughs> but yeah guys comment your thoughts and yeah let us get into it <laughs> I built this app with the help of a friend of mine like I probably wouldn't have been able to do this on my own because like as I said a lot was going on and I still I didn't know a lot of things that I know now so I was just struggling and fighting for my life so I did get a lot of help with my friend we worked on it together and yes yeah, so I used Expo to build this project so Expo is a framework or platform that helps you build react native apps more efficiently and for the back end I used Firebase so let us get into it. So I'm going to put the screen recording on the app as we go through it together. And yeah, let us get into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're starting with the login screen. And the first thing I noticed earlier when I was like playing around trying to see like if I can still log in is that I actually forgot my login details because I haven't used this in ages. And can you guys see what's missing? There's no like forgot password. So you just have log in and register. So that's something that could have been improved. But yeah, so we have this log in page. The design is very minimal, <laughs> you know, but it's still cute. So we have this uh, email and password so this was done using firebase auth if i'm not mistaken uh to log in and yeah everything was saved on there and then this is the information that's required to actually register so i have an account so i'm just gonna log in so the first thing that i noticed is that with logging in there is no like you don't stay logged in so every time you open the app you have to log in all the time so i just never thought of like doing anything to make sure the user like stays logged in so that's something i would do differently now and yeah once we land on the home screen you can see that it's like straight to business and not wasting time we have the search bar there at the top and then we have the different packages so all of this was stored on firebase if i go here to the nav bar you can see we have home and then we have uh, health and wellness which is a different category so i had different tables on firebase which had all the information but i'm just going to go back to home and when i click on one of the packages so uh this was just a list so i probably just used like a flat list to render all the information and once you click on that we have this uh, so all the packages have to have like the same information so they would all have like a regular uh, price uh, what the package includes and then just the information to make a booking and here I remember this this part I remember I know 2020 was four years ago but I remember this part was tough where you click book now and actually make the payment like it took some serious problem solving skills so as you can see the payment screen is it's not that great <laughs> it just has this paid now button but like it took us forever i remember my friend and i we were like you know finding ways to do this and we ended up using a web view in order to display the payment gateway so when you click pay now then we would pop up the payment get, uh, gateway as you can see now so we set up an account with the payment gateway and then you can make your payment and 
it wasn't easy like it needed some serious like problem solving skills but i think that's why i really enjoyed working on this project i feel like it was like the first time i was getting to apply everything that i learned in school to build like a real world project and i feel like i was even learning more than what i learned at school because there were things that i didn't learn in school i had to figure out so it was just so challenging like i think i like developed some real like problem solving skills like you know which is why i actually feel bad that these days i actually don't do a lot of projects outside of work you guys are probably tired of hearing me complain about that but like I really want to work on that like I want to do more like projects outside of work I really think it's such a great way to learn but since I'm not there yet one way that I enjoy learning is through Brilliant and Brilliant is the sponsor for today's video so Brilliant is where you can learn by doing they have thousands of interactive lessons in AI programming data analysis maths like it's such a great place to learn and you learn by doing so like similar to actually like building a project when you learn on there you go through like some of the course content they teach you something and then you actually apply uh, what you learn to actually answer some questions do some activities so it's really such a fun way to learn and that's how I'm working on my problem solving skills now I am gonna go back to building like you know projects outside of work but now I'm doing these lessons and I'm really enjoying them I did the thinking and code course I'm doing programming in Python and I really enjoy it like it's just a fun and simple way to learn and some, like they really go into the basics which I really like I feel like sometimes you just dive in and you want to know everything but with brilliant they really start off with the basics and then you build on on top of that so yeah it's a great platform I'm enjoying it there if you want to give it a try as well you can get 30 days free by using my code which is a brilliant.org slash and and that will also give you 20% off the annual subscription. The link is also in the description. So let's get back to the app. And yeah, the payment gateway part, that was so challenging. But we figured it out. We did that. And yeah, so this is one of the packages. It shows you what it includes. And then you just have a back button there at the top. And it takes you back to the home screen. As you can see, we weren't really stressed about animations and fun things like that. It was just like, let's make this work like how it's supposed to. So it just shows you what the package includes. And yeah, so we have just the home screen with the different packages and then we have membership this one was this very like a basic page it's just text and images and then when you click here you just have the t's and c's and you know guys this was a very minimalistic design but uh, it was not easy like it probably looks like it was easy but it was not easy but it was just fun to actually do like a real world thing and when we move on to health and wellness so that's a different category so we had a different table to store this information so when you click on one of the packages then we have these images that you can scroll through and i thought that was the best thing in the world at the time I'm like wow what's so cool for that <laughs> and you can see what the package includes and yeah so it's pretty basic it's the same on all the different pages and yeah that's pretty much the app if we go to profile we just see my user information they would have a referral code and as you can see with the points so whenever someone used the referral code then you would get a point added once you got three points then you would get a, a certain discount so yeah that's the extra things that we did i see we also have search here we can try search for something i'm just going to search road and see what comes up uh, it's not searching yet I'm gonna click on done and as I said you know we're keeping it simple no animations nothing so I see nothing is actually loading up on there but yeah guys that is pretty much it for the app it wasn't a lot but hey when I was working on that it was a lot but yeah guys it was such a great project to work on and I learned so much like I would highly 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 recommend working on like real world projects just to see how things work together the back end the front end like you know as I say like when you look at this it looks like it's easy but once you actually start to actually you know do everything connect the things like it was my first time actually like building an app from the ground up another part that i almost forgot to mention is actually also getting it to the play store so i think i only put it on the google play store and figuring out that process knowing how it works all of that it was such a great learning experience so i would highly highly recommend that you try to build an app from like the ground up and 
I just thought of something because I've been saying I want to work on something I want to work on something how about we do an updated version of this app I think I'm gonna spend some time maybe this weekend and build the updated version of this app like how I would do it in 2024 and then I'll come back and show you how it is you know I think we can do that let's get this video to let's get 200 likes and then I will do it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And don't forget to check out Brilliant. Use my link. It is brilliant.org slash And it will also be in the description. And I'll catch you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. And I'll catch you in the next video.